Hey everybody, this is Mr. Love here. Uh, homework 213. These are problems concerning mechanical advantage. Um, so we're going to go through these, number one and number two. Um, okay, so the first problem reads, um, a lever is used to lift a heavy load. When a 50 newton force pushes one end of the lever down 1.2 meters, the load rises 0.2 meters. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing that you need to realize here um, in all the mechanical advantage problems is the work in equals the work out. Okay, so um, I think it's always helpful to, uh, to draw a picture. <clears throat> so what you have is a lever on a fulcrum. Okay, and there's a heavy load here. It says that that load is unknown. Okay, it says you use a force on this end to push down. Um, and the f weight or the force used here is 50 newtons. And the distance that this moves here is 1.2 meters. The distance that this moves here is 0 0.2 meters. <clears throat> okay, so work in, work out is equal to force times distance in, force times distance out. Okay, so simply substituting, this is the what you put in, and this is what you get out. So the force times the distance is simply 50 newtons times 1.2 meters. Okay, and what you got out was an unknown force, which is the weight of the object, and um, a certain distance, which is 0 0.2 meters. So if you solve this algebraically, you simply multiply these two together, um, you divide by 0 0.2, 0 0.2 meters. So you get the force is equal to, um, let's punch this into the calculator here. So it's uh, 50 times 1.2. Okay, that's equal to 60, and then you go ahead and divide that by 0.2. Okay, and the answer comes out to be 300. So what you have is this lever is lifting an object that weighs 300 newtons using only a force of 50 newtons. That is the mechanical advantage. So the weight of the load is 300 newtons. <clears throat> okay, so that's problem number 213. Let's move on to uh, um, homework 213, problem number one. Let's move on to problem number two. Um, similar problem. So you're raising a 5,000 Newton piano with a pulley system. The workers note um, for every two meters of rope pulled down, the piano raises four meters. Um, ideally, how much force is required to lift the piano. So ideally means that we're not considering frictional losses. So what we have here is um, a piano, and that weighs 5,000 Newtons. Okay, and it's being lifted by a pulley. Okay, and here um, the piano is raising a distance of about four meters, or exactly four meters, and here the distance pulled down is two meters. <clears throat> so again, as in the previous problem, it's work in equals work out. Okay, so that's force times distance in equals force times distance out. So the force put in is the unknown, okay, because we don't know how much it is. The distance is two meters. Um, the force we get out is the force of the piano, which is 5,000 newtons. Um, and the distance we get out is 0 0.4 meters. You go ahead and divide both sides by 2 meters to find your solution. 2 meters. And this is going to give you a force of 1,000 newtons. So the force equals 1,000 newtons. So the mechanical advantage here allows us to lift a 5,000 newton object with only 1,000 newtons of force. Thanks for watching.